All right, this is first grade, module one, of lesson 22. And in this lesson, students are going to be looking for and making use of this um, addition chart. And they're going to be looking for patterns in this addition chart. And through it, they're going to review doubles, uh, doubles plus one. They're going to be just looking for patterns. And the other thing is, the key thing is, we're going to be talking about a keyword called add-ends. Add-ends is one of the two numbers that are being added. You might as well throw in the word sum, S-U-M, as well uh, as you're doing this lesson so that students uh, learn the vocabulary and it becomes second nature to them, add end and sum. So for me, when I'm looking at this lesson and I'm looking at this big old huge addition chart, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper on my document ca camera and I'm going to make it look less scary because there's just so much stuff going on over here. So I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to say, well, what do you guys notice here? What are we seeing? Oh, all the second numbers are zeros. We might say all of the first numbers are going up by one each time. And then I might just move this around. Let's say, okay, well, let's look at this. What do you guys notice? Oh, all the first numbers are one. And it's the second number that goes up by one each time. And so the idea is I would just let them look at patterns. Um, and then as we're going through this, I also might say things like, well, where do you see examples of a near double? Or no, no, let's start off with a double. Where do you see examples of a double? And they would say, oh, there's 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 5 plus 5. Yay, we found doubles. And then, again, I might do the same thing, only with uh, doubles plus 1. Where do we see doubles plus 1? And there's a bunch of them, there, aren't there? And we see 2 plus 3. We see 3 plus 2. Uh, we see 2 plus 1. We see 1 plus 2. 3 plus 4. 4 plus 3. 4 plus 5. Uh, 5 plus 4, 4 plus 5. And then uh, there's a bunch of them right there. And isn't this kind of neat, teachers? Some beautiful little patterns are starting to emerge. Give your students some play time, so to speak, with this addition chart. Talk about what you see in this table. Another thing I would um, use this as an opportunity for is to discuss the commutative. Commutative property. All right. Remember that the commutative property is talking about where 7 plus 2 and 2 plus 7 equal the same answer. So I would say, all right, students, where do you guys see examples of the commutative property in action? And, oh, somebody might say something along the lines of, well, I see 5 plus 2 and I see 2 plus 5. There's an example of the commutative property. And if you want, you might add in the number 7 here, but you don't have to. Does anybody see another example of the commutative property? Yay, I do too, I do. I see, oh, I don't know, let's see, 8 plus 1 and 1 plus 8. So at this point, you might just let our students look for examples of the commutative property. Now the neat thing, teachers, is if you have enough colors, you're going to see a really cool pattern of where the examples of the commutative property show up. Now here it says solve the problems without counting all. So the idea is, um, oh let's take a look at this one, 6 plus 3. So we can see 6 plus 3 and if we wanted to we could use the count all or counting on method. So the idea would be we'd say 6 and then 7, 8, 9 and because we're holding up three fingers and the last thing we said was 9, the answer would be 9. That's the counting on method. But at this point we're trying to solve the problems without counting everything. And so we're asked, students are being asked to recognize some patterns. Where do you, Color all of the problems with a plus one or a one plus. Make them all blue. Use green to color all the plus twos and two pluses. And then um, use yellow to color all the plus threes and three pluses. And, and students are going to be seeing some nice little patterns. And the idea is to recognize when they can use the commutative property. Recognize when they can use the doubles method or the 
uh, near doubles, the doubles plus one method. So I'm not going to go through all of these uh, problems. The idea is this is a nice place for students to try and put all of this stuff together, the commutative property, doubles, and doubles plus one. And that wraps up first grade module one lesson 22 where the students are looking for patterns in the addition chart and using that um, to make addition a little bit simpler and more efficient.